Hi everybody, welcome to the Fragrance Lair. Steven here with the first ever HD unboxing slash first impression. Now the inaugural HD unboxing first impression will be on something I've been looking forward to get for a while now. And it's none other than the first fragrance for men by Hane Mores, and it's him, or H-I-M, not too sure how to pronounce it, but there it is. I've been looking for this for a while. The note breakdown and whatnot seemed very intriguing and something that I would probably love, so I was like, alright, I'll get it. Now, let's bring you down here to kind of get a little um, look-see at the presentation, and I'll kind of tell you what I think about it. Let's get it down right there. All right, good. Um, like that. All right, um, how's that? That looks... All right, that's... That's good enough. Kind of a glare, but... Oh, well, what are you going to do? Yeah, but... You got the, um, H.I.M. right here by Hane More in gold writing. And around that, you got, um, kind of like a wooden... Uh, it's not real wood. I don't think it is. No, yeah, it's not real wood. It's plastic, but a wood-looking um, plastic, and it's a really nice touch. I like that a lot, the wood touch. It's a, it's really masculine, really woody, really kind of kind to um, persuade the people that this is a masculine fragrance. And by the note breakdown and whatnot, it probably is going to be a masculine fragrance. Now, it is a heated toilet right there. Very good. Um, yeah, it's 100 ml, 3.4 fluid ounces. Right over there. The box, the back, you got some information. Apparently made in France, um, Paris, the website and stuff. What's that, focus? Yeah. Parfums slash hot, um, parfums hyphen honeymoreine.com. All the ingredients and stuff. Nothing really interesting there. On the bottom, we have the barcode. Say, once again, nothing too interesting. Got the reference number below that. So. Alright, let's get into the actual fragrance now and see what we're looking at. Back up there. Focus in. And good. Okay. Focus in. Perfect. Now, <clears throat> first we're going to get into the specifics and information by Fragrantica. Now, according to Fragrantica, this is a woody spicy fragrance. Oh, don't fall. Alright, that's better. Hey, this is a woody spicy fragrance. Released in 2012, the autumn. Pretty good um, season for this, I'm assuming. And it's their first men's fragrance, but technically, uh, I think one of the other fragrances, I think, just Hane Amore, I think that was the name of it. But that was a unisex, but this is the true first um, male fragrance. So, let's see. yeah, it's just Hane Amore, Hane Amore. That's the name of the team, unisex. So, yeah, overall presentation, I like it a lot. Very interesting. Very masculine, very woodsy and outdoorsy, kind of. I like that a lot. I really like the presentation on it. Now, so anyways, let's get into more of the information. The main chords, according to um, Fragrantica, from top to bottom. Woody, warm, spicy, cinnamon, aromatic, and amber. Now, is that intriguing or what? I mean, yeah, a lot of fragrances have that kind of thing going on. This isn't the first, and it won't be the last, but... Every single fragrance that has that, I usually like and or love. So I'm assuming I'm going to like and or love this. Now, I will be giving you some more information for you. The notes. In order from the most popular, and um, people will be able to tell it's in there, to least. Starting off with cinnamon, amber, taco bean, white cedar extract, fig, teak wood, violet leaf, pepper, bergamot, musk, Mandarin orange, cardamom, and balsam fir. Now, with this main notes, I'm expecting a spicy, woody, kind of a resinous, vanilla-ish, and fruity. There's a lot of things that can go on with this fragrance, which is awesome. Now, the longevity people are saying that the, the majority of it is long-lasting, and the projection, the majority of people are saying it's moderate. So, with that in mind, you could probably either use this daytime in the fall or maybe nighttime in the spring those things because I don't think this would really maybe it depends on how it plays on my skin but I would assume it wouldn't necessarily be able to play with the big boys in the winter and it might be a little too um, cooling for the um, lightweights in the what, summer so let's get into it and let's see what I think okay ready
I've been looking for this for a long time. I was hoping to get it for Easter. Oh, and speaking of Easter, before I get involved, I want to wish everyone a happy Easter, and I hope every all my Jewish subscribers out there, I hope you had a wonderful Passover and everything went beautifully. So, let me know in the comments how it went. I'm curious to see how my subscribers are doing lately. Let me know how your Easter slash Passover was, or just let me know how your week was. And also, at the end of the video, I'd like to know, your opinions on the fragrance and what you think about it. If you like it, tell me. If you don't like it, tell me. Anything. Just let me know. I like to be um, connected with my subscribers. You're more or less my friends who happen to watch my videos rather than subscribers. But, anywho, let's get into the actual fragrance now. Take off the plastic. Wow. Now, with the plastic off, the woody um, thing really shines. It's a nice shiny wood. I love that. It's kind of like more like a um, polished wood desk looking kind of thing. It's not very like, um, it's not a natural wood look, but I like the polished wood look. It's a very nice look. I like it a lot. So, so far, they're doing everything right. So, I like that. Beautiful presentation. One of the probably top five presentations that I have unboxed on YouTube so far. Easily top five. Maybe even top three, but let's get into it. Oh, uh, no, no, I don't want you seeing that. Let's do the cat. There we go. Voila. Now, let's take a look at the bottle. Okay. There's the bottle right there. Now, on the top, it's kind of like a, um, what is it? What should you say? Like that? That's like a, um, kind of a wooden, not a wooden, Almost like a um, bolt that you would use for like um, construction and stuff, like a bolt. See, it's almost like a bolt. I'm also going to focus. Focus, come on. Are you going to focus or what? There, there you go. Focus. Yeah, it's kind of like a um, nut or a bolt. Very nice touch. And on the top of the cap, you have the um, honey and more. A little. Um, come on, focus. Come on, focus. Doesn't want to focus. I don't like that. Come on. Oh, it's not being very nice. There you go. That's good. Uh, that's good. To cut it. Yeah, it says um, HM for Honey Morning on there. Nice cap. It's a, it's a, um, a relative solid cap. Not too heavy and bulky, but not cheaply made feeling. So, can't get any smell from the fragrance on the um, inside of the cap. Neither on the sprayer itself, but... I like the gold top and the um, brownish light brown bottle. I like how it goes well with each other. I like the bottle. I mean, I'm kind of, I was kind of wishing that the um, box, the wooden box kind of thing, was to keep playing in the um, bottle, but oh well. Beggars can't be cheesy. So, overall, I like the bottle. Not as nice as the box, but the bo bottle's still very nice. Nice looking bottle. You got the um, name of the fragrance right up here. Then you got High Mori. Over there, got some information on the bottom. Focus in, come on, focus in. There you go, Hane Amore. All the information right there. 100 ml, 3.4 fluid ounces. Bam, there we go. Now, since we're going to be focusing as of right now only on the top notes, since this is going to be a first impression, and you won't be able to necessarily get the, um, come on. There you go. You won't be able to necessarily get the, um, which we'll call it the um the top. I mean the uh, you only I'm only gonna be really able to get right now the top notes. So I'm kind of we're gonna have to wait on the um let me fix that a little bit. Only gonna be able to have to we're gonna have to wait on the um there we go. We're gonna have to wait on the um middle and um, base notes for maybe a, a review in the future. But maybe I'll be able to pull out some of the top the uh, middle and base notes for now. But <clears throat> excuse me. Let's go. All right. Um, the top notes we got bergamot, mandarin orange, pepper, um, violet leaf, and cardamom. So, the um, the spices only spices in the top supposedly is only going to be the pepper and the cardamom, which is not bad. Pepper and cardamom smell very good, and also combining with the um, bergamot and the mandarin orange. And the wild leaf is going to give a fresh, spicy appeal. But let's see if that actually is the truth. 
Or maybe it just skips the top notes entirely and goes down to the middle notes, which include cinnamon, fig, and taco bean. So let's spray it on and let's see what I think. Okay, there we go. And to my nose, the um, I get the violet leaf in it, the cardamom and the pepper. This is playing like a spice bomb, but a little bit more. The violet leaf is coming out, which makes it a little more um, different from the spice bomb, but definitely in the spice bomb family. Definitely. It's very nice. I, I like it a lot, though. But you get the cinnamon, taco, you get cardamom, the pepper, you get all that stuff. Not so much the um, mandarin orange or bergamot. That's kind of in the background, which isn't a bad thing, but just stating the facts. So you get, you get the cinnamon. You get a, you get a little bit of the um, actually you get a little you get some musk in this. Well, the, the bass notes are kind of peeking out into the top notes, but that's not a bad thing. So I'm kind of I'm not kind of, but I'm a little bit on the fence and trying to search for that fig. But I don't see it or smell it as of now. But that could change. But it definitely, as it's starting to sit on my skin, it's starting to get more um, separated from the Spice Bomb original comparison I gave to it. But, yeah, that's not a big deal. So, yeah, um, I already I can tell where people are saying on Fragrantica. The longevity is definitely more of its um, strong point, as the projection is already kind of becoming a little bit lackluster. So, it's not too strong. So, yeah. I mean, you could probably wear this on an autumn day where it's not too cold, because if it's too cold, maybe like between um, 47 and below Fahrenheit, you're going to have a problem with this projecting. But I can feel like this fragrance can do really well between 50 and 60 degrees. So that's not bad. Kind of with a light jacket, you'll be fine. So, like, as I'm actually trying to search for the scent now, it's kind of more because I've been smelling it so much. But overall, it's very nice. You get the spice from the um, cardamom, the pepper, and the cinnamon. You get kind of, oh, a little bit of spiciness from the tonka. The tonka is more like a... Um, Edgier cinnamon, not cinnamon, sorry. More of an edgy, edgy, bleh. an edgy vanilla. The cardamom is, the cardamom and cinnamon kind of make it almost of an edible spice because cardamom and cinnamon are used in a lot of foods. So, because clove is really kind of more of the spice that isn't used as, in food as much. It's more used for like aromatic purposes and maybe just stuff like that. But cinnamon and cardamom are like, Multi-universal can be used in a lot of different scenarios. So it almost gives off like a a holiday kind of like a a holiday spicy food, like more of a dessert with like a what a very spicy cinnamon chai tea. That's what I get from it. Not completely because of the resinous properties and a little bit of the violet leaf in here that throws that off and makes it more of a fragrance rather than a or gourmand, but the cinnamon and cardamom and the mandarin orange a little bit kind of let it become more of a gourmand, but once you get the violet leaf and you get the resinous properties and even the musk, it starts to make that more into a fragrance rather than something that smells like you want to eat it. But overall, it's a very nice fragrance. I'm very happy with this purchase. And would I recommend this to a friend? I would say, hey, do you like something spicy, a little bit edgy, a little, and it's not going to break your bank? Then I'd be like, sure, go for this. It's nice. It's it's edgy, but not going to completely turn people off. It's not like something like Leather Oud, where you have to be really careful on where you're wearing this. This is It's strong-ish, edgy-ish, but it's not something that's going to completely like turn people off unless they're really sensitive to fragrances. But if they're sensitive to fragrances, you shouldn't really you should watch out anyways. But anyways, now um, as it's sitting on my skin, it's starting to lose a little bit of the cinnamon properties and kind of become more of a fresh, fruitier thing 
with their figs, the bergamot, and the mandarin orange. The cinnamon's still there, don't get me wrong, but it's coming a little bit more fresh now. So, this thing, as of now, it isn't too linear to the point where it's going to bore you. I mean, I can, I can say and put my confidence on that it's not going to come out of nowhere and just totally change into this freaking amber slash fur bomb. I, I guarantee you probably won't. But you will get some properties from it that will keep it interesting and inviting and neat to you every time you wear it. But it's not going to be like this metamorphous type fragrance where three hours later it smells like a totally different fragrance. It's just going to smell like a subpart of the same fragrance, which is good. I, I don't mind that. But anyway, my overall first impression is it's kind of a toss up between a combination of Eau de Beau by L'Occitane. And Victor and Rolf Spice Bomb. Those two put together kind of make this, but this has its own properties where it can stand and be a respectable purchase alone. But nevertheless, it's a very good fragrance. Now, now I'm actually, wow, okay. Freeze, one second. The fur is coming in a lot. Good thing, I like that fur. That's funny. On Fragrantica, the fur, the balsam fur, is the least most common um, smelled thing in this fragrance. But I get it. I get it a lot. The cinnamon's still there. The pepper, the cardamom, and the cinnamon, I almost guarantee, are not going to leave this fragrance compound. It's going to be on you from the second you spray it to the second it's not even noticeable to anybody's nose. So... But yeah, that's my overall first impression on this fragrance. Um, yeah, the box and the bottle itself is very nice. I would be happy to present this box and bottle on my shelf. Very nice. I like it. Good job, honey. I'm alright. The box especially. Gorgeous box. The bottle, I like it too. It's a little nut bolt top. As it goes down, the bottle becomes darker and darker. As you can tell, darker, darker, darker as it goes down. Interesting little design they got there. Overall, beautiful fragrance. I like it. It's nothing game-changing. It's nothing that's really going to set apart Hane Amore from the other designer houses. But what it's going to do, it's going to make it more or less a, a competitor in the designer game. It's not going to make it somewhere where, oh, it's just Hane Amore. Nobody cares about that. It's going to be like, oh, Hane Amore. They put out H.I.M. That was good. I'm wondering what their next fragrance is going to be. But anywho, I appreciate you watching. I'm hoping you're enjoying the new HD format I'm putting out. So have a good, great, have a good day or night. I'm not Time Zone Prejudiced. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.